All right, so what have you got there, Ari? My new computer. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a shiny new computer. And why did we give you that computer? To learn how to code. Really? What are you going to do if you learn how to code? You could code some games. Yeah. yeah. And some apps. And some apps. Oh, man. You make a lot of money coding apps, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, your computer... Your computer looks a lot like my computer over there. So how do you know that it's your computer? Because mine has a different sticker. <laughs> okay, very smart. What have you got on yours? Can you show us? Nice. Okay, very uh, very cool. Uh, do you want to start it up? Show us how you get started. Okay. So let's have a look at what you have on yours. Huh? Remember the power button is? Excellent. Now, what are you going to do here? Type in my pin. Why do you have a pin? So then nobody can get into it. Oh, smart, smart, uh, smart idea. Security conscious, very good. So why don't you log in and then we'll do a little bit of coding, okay? Okay, so I'm in it. All right, so we're going to do some coding now? Yep. Okay, so we're recording your screen so we can see what you do on the screen as well as my phone recording you. So why don't you go and choose some coding that you'd like to do. So do you want to go down the screen a little bit? Okay, so which one's that? Minecraft. <laughs> you like Minecraft? Yeah, Minecraft's pretty cool. Okay, so why don't you open up the Minecraft one and we'll do some of the others later when you get a little bit better as well. Okay. All right. So why don't we click on the Try Now button, because right, you're starting to get very good at your reading as well. And this is going to help us learn to code by building little blocks. Okay, so we've got a little video there. Why don't we hit the big cross? My name is Ian Spagas. Because we don't need to listen to that guy. Cool. Now, which one do you want to be? All right, cool. Very good. Now, have you done this one before? I think we might have had a little practice before. I don't think I've done this. Haven't you? All right, so what does it say? Right. Right. Well, we've we got a run button there, so do you want to try pressing the run button? Okay, so what you've got to do is you... It says here to use more commands, try using more commands to walk to the sheep. Okay, so what do you think we do? So we see there. I need to get two move buttons. Oh, wow, look at that. Neat. So now you're actually doing it with your finger, eh? That's pretty cool. And I made it. Wow. So you've done that one already? Yep. Now it's the next one. Okay. So can you show me how you do that with your finger as well? Because I just saw you touching on the screen and dragging it. Mm -hmm. So do you want to show me how that works? Neat. Okay. So you actually, you're writing the instructions for the guy to move, right? Mm-hmm. That is pretty neat. What if you What if you show us how you can use it like a tablet? You remember how the, you put the yeah. computer into tablet mode as well? Very cool. All right, so what if you try using it now? Can you show us what you do? What have you got to do on this one, actually, Ari? Well, you have to put the blocks there and see if you can um, complete the level. Okay, but what are you trying to get the man to do? What do you have to do to complete the level? To get to the sheep. What do you do when you get to the sheep? I complete the level. Yeah, well you got to, I think you've got to do something to the sheep though, haven't you? Oh, yeah, sure. So what do you do? So I'll do it. Cool. So that's like one sheep. Can you see what it says now? Try asking more. It says questions. try using more commands to gather wool from both sheep. Walk to each one and use the shear command. So you sheared one sheep. What are you going to do at the next sheep? Now we're going to shear the other one. 
So what are you going to do first in order to shear the other sheep? What's that command say? Move, turn left, move. All right, so let's run your program and we'll see what happens. Ooh, what happened? I went the wrong way. Ah, so what do you think you have to do differently? So you tested it and it didn't work, so now you have to adjust your program and run it again, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see now. Nice. So that was like troubleshooting, right? Do you know what troubleshooting is? No. So troubleshooting is when you have a problem and you have to try and find different ways of fixing it. So is that a good start? Why don't we leave it there and then next time we'll come and do some more advanced stuff. Is that cool? Yep. Is programming fun? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well done, mate.